Hello everyone and welcome to this demonstration of the UCL Snake Grid plugin for FME. My name is James Turner, I will be taking you through this today. Snake Grid is a coordinate system specifically designed for large linear engineering projects such as railways. Each snake grid is tailored to that particular project and is defined within a parameter file. The primary advantage of snake grid is that it features negligible distortion. For example, on the screen in front of you is a map of the scale factor distortion of the high speed to rail link. Typically, it's no more than 10 ppm. UCL has developed a suite of plugins for FME, which allows the use of snake grid conversions to and from other coordinate systems. In total, there are three transformers. The basic snake grid projector, which we'll be going through today. There is snake grid object, which allows advanced options for reprojection, including the output of error analysis reports, and Snake Grid Local. Snake Grid Local um, allows the creation of local engineering grid coordinate systems. So moving on to FME. I will start a new workspace. and read in some data I prepared earlier. This is a shapefile. The shapefile is simply an outline of Reading Station. I'll root it into the FME inspector. This is so we can take a look at it. There we have it. Now this uh, outline of Reading Station is currently within the Snake Grid coordinate system. This is not recognized by FME, so consequently there is no base map behind the inspector. So let's say we want to reproject this from the Snake Grid coordinate system into British National Grid. It's very straightforward. We add the snake grid projector transformer into the FME workspace and set the options. The source coordinate system in this case is snake grid. Other featured coordinate systems are geographical latitude longitude, OSGB 36, British National Grid, and London, London Survey Grid and all the UTM zones. So I'll select Snake Grid. Destination we're going to put as OSGB 36. This will be using the OSTN02 transformation. And we also have to input the Snake Grid parameter file. This is the file that contains the settings for this particular Snake Grid. This Snake Grid is Crossrail 09. If a parameter file is not set, the snake grid projector will not work. Click OK. Click Run Translation. And it's rooted into the inspector once more. And there we have it. As you can see, the coordinate system for this shape feature is now OSGB 36 and we now have a background because the coordinate system is recognized by the FME data inspector. Of course now we can now write this shape or outline of Reading Station into whichever format we so like. I believe at time of speaking FME features about 378 different file formats. And that's it. That is a demonstration of the Snake Grid Projector for FME. Thank you very much for watching.